In this video, I will uh, show how to get rid of that little annoying dip between animations, if you've seen that. Uh, it's kind of a hack, I think, but it's a way to get rid of it anyway. Um, so let's just start up Unreal Engine. And I'm just going to show this all the way from the beginning, so uh, it is clear what I'm doing. In new project, I will create a third person called this. Another test, and while it's loading up, um, I'm just gonna add this animation starter pack project. Since I'm using um, 4.10, uh, I have to check this show all projects, and I'm just gonna select 4.9, add that. And on my other, other screen, I have my animation starter pack here. <coughs> First of all, I want to, this is not really necessary, but I just like to do it. Uh, I'm just going to uncheck this one so I don't get all these new windows up. So inside our animation starter pack, we have a skeleton from the animation starter pack. And just to avoid confusion, I'm just going to quickly rename this to Anim and also the skeleton. Like this. So we have two two um, skeletons in here. We have one on the mannequin also, and on the character mesh. This is the one that came with the third person character uh, example. And under this, we have these um, standard animations here. So first of all, let's take a quick look at what the real problem is. If we take a look at uh, at the root node here. You can see that the y-axis is pointing down on this character and if we for example take one uh, idle rifle iron sights and zoom in on the on the root here you can see these two are pointing in each direction so that is the real problem because when you try to blend in between these uh, these two axes will rotate <coughs> Sorry, I'm a sore throat, so yeah, gotta have to live with that. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so first of all, let's uh, open up the animation. Um, I'm just gonna do everything that I did to make this work. Um, so first of all, I will create a retag pose for this one and select humanoid. And I'm also gonna switch the post well mainly because uh, later on I will show something else that we need to do that which requires us to alter this post um, and besides I don't like this a post so anyway now it's a lot of talk for a very little thing so anyway uh, let's first of all make this five so we can put this five uh, 45 degrees up and um the upper arm here also 45 degrees up and also we need to put the legs in five degrees and five degrees mm. right so uh, save this pose it's gonna snap back that's no problem and gonna save okay so um <coughs> what we now need to do um actually first of all let's um demonstrate the the problem so every, everybody is clear on the issue here so i'm gonna have to do this also then i see um just gonna do this real quick uh yep new pose skeleton tree go to the upper arm Switch this one up 45 degrees and the right arm 45 degrees and the thigh 5 degrees in and 5 degrees in. Actually, we need to do something else because his arms aren't really all straight. So we actually need to straighten this out 25 degrees 
and it has got degrees. So let's go back and save pose. It's going to snap that back. So it's okay since he is in the right pose. Right. So um, I forgot the arms on the anim version. So I'm going to go to view pose again. Move up. Oops. Wrong one. Be a hard, bit hard to select. Um, yeah, turn the five degrees out, turn the five degrees out like this. Right. So we want to save that pose, of course. So um, if, for example, we want to animate between two uh, animations from the starter pack and the third person example, then we will have an issue because of these two road, road uh, orientation, road orientations. So uh, um, to quickly show this, let's just, well, this is okay here. Um, just for the purpose of demonstration, I will create a blend space and I will pick the mannequin skeleton. Um, and this is just a demonstration. So, for example, let's say I want to go from a third person idle pose, and then I want to go to um, this idle pose we have from the animation starter pack. This one. So, in order to use this inside here, you'll notice it's it's not visible. I need to retarget this one to that skeleton. So, I right click here and retarget, duplicate. And then now I can pick my mannequin skeleton and select. So that's going to create a copy inside my mesh folder here, which is going to be called a copy. So let's save that so we can use it. And inside our blend space, uh, we now have this iron sights copy version available. So if I drag this one in and then move the slider in between, you can see he's going to make this dip in between. And that's the problem we are going to fix in a little bit of a hacky way, I think. So um, this also assumes that you don't want to use this uh, robot because in that case the, uh, you can just click next to another video <laughs> because I haven't really found a really nice way to solve this. So. Um, so let's close this one up and uh, create a new folder. Let's close uh, everything up here. So I'm gonna make a, oops, not that one. Um, I'm gonna make a new folder, call that import, just something. And I have a few characters that I can use. Uh, I will take um, this mean man, Bobby. And I'm just gonna import him. Uh, so this is, uh, I don't think this is necessary actually, but uh, the important thing is that you import the skeleton, import mesh, and you don't really need the materials. Let's just get rid of that, because otherwise it's going to take quite a while on this machine. Um, so there we have our mean main, and we have a skeleton now. Um, Let's see, he is in, in the T-pose, and you can see his, uh, his legs are straight and the arms are straight out. So let's create a new retarget source for this one. And just save that. So what we can do now is to use this skeleton. We want to use this skeleton instead of uh, the normal one down here. Uh, and in order to do that, we uh, start off by um, trying one thing first, and then we'll see that it may or may not work. And if, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, third person idle, let's just take this one. So the idea is we duplicate and uh, retarget it to the mean main, right? And we also want to do that from up here, from the animation starter pack. 
uh, for example from the iron side and we target that also to the mean main right so inside our import character uh, we now have these two animations so let's make a new uh, blend space and see if this works so base this on the mean main and open that up and we'll take this one in here and take the other one in here and see if the dipping appears still so unfortunately it happens still so what i found out and this is what probably what you've been waiting for all the time uh was that if you start off by deleting this first uh, third person idle copy just delete that one so instead of um from up from from uh, the animations folder instead of retargeting it directly like this you first export it uh, export it just dump it somewhere like this like this yes and then you come to the import folder where go away where you have the imports and uh, you import it again and this time you pick the mean main skeleton again there we go now we can take our blend space and take first person idle and dump him in there and there you have it so the animation has been fixed now he's not making that dip anymore and as I said, it is a kind of a hacky way. I have no idea why this works, but I just found it and thought it would. Uh, I would wanted to share this. Thing is, the key uh, thing about this is that now both axes uh, are pointing uh, the same direction. So unfortunately, they are pointing down. I'm not really satisfied with that. I wanted to put uh, the the um, the y-axis to point forward and the c-axis to point up but I'm not really sure how to do this in this case you can see that here the green is uh, the y-axis is pointing down and it's also pointing down on the other one like this so this is um yeah this is a, actually a nice trick and also one f one more thing if you uh, have ever tried flying around navigating in these another little good trick is if you uh, find it hard to like I am showing now to position the camera you can hold uh, right mouse and then scroll to watch yourself and that's gonna lower the speed that's gonna make it way easier to to navigate right. so uh, there's a little issue we haven't uh, addressed yet and that's um, if we take a, s a close look at uh, the foot placement you can see he is changing height kind of and so far um, I haven't really found another way besides uh, changing the import settings um, so if we come into the third person idle and then under import settings uh, this one nope not this one transform import settings transform and we can bump this up like 10 units 10 centimeters and just hit re-import and that's gonna well it's gonna uh, uh, move him up a little bit it does introduce a little offset here but and I'm not really sure this is cause gonna cause any problems uh, but anyway, um, if we look at the animation now and then blend in between them, you can see the height is actually really good looking. I have no idea what's going on with these IK handles, they're uh, just flying around, but since we don't really use them as far as I know, uh, well, I don't think it matters. So, well, this is a, uh, well, work way to get it to work if this has been driving you crazy 
Okay, I think that's it for now. If you know better ways to do this, please let me know. Uh, post a comment or write me a message somehow. Um, I would be very much interested in how to fix this with a 3D Studio or Maya or what the actual process for fixing this would be. All right, bye bye.